Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders wherever you are in the world. Hope you had a wonderful week. Yeah, we are back again to our weekly forex outlook for the coming week, and we are going to be reviewing our past analysis, how it played with our levels and how it moved according to the outlook. So this is our EU chart for H. And this is how I anticipated the move for the week and look at uh, at how it reacted to this level our our resistance here look at this one this move I, I said hey, that's going to go back to this level or react on this one and look at how it reacted to this one and it came here with this week and then dropped down and let's analyze it for next week as you see we are still in a downtrend and it broke this level and still broke again this level check this broke broke these levels and came back up here as you see we are still in a downtrend and these are the levels I'm going to be looking at for next week one is here one is there And the other will be here. I'll be expecting the market to bounce off this level to continue pushing down or come retest this level, then bounce off. If I told the bears are still in control of the market remember it has broken this low this lower high and pushed up come back for retest on this level and again seeking the structure highs if it breaks this level this level then i will think twice to change my bias for this market it will change the bias to, to turn into bullish but right now right now I'm looking it in the perspective of bearish bearish sentiment that's for the case of our EU let's look to our next pair Yeah, this is our this is our UJ USD versus the yen, and this is how it played out for this week. I said it either drops, come retest this level, pump higher, or continue moving high. But instead, it went down, went through this level, and it tried to retest here came down try to retest but the bear the bears were very strong and our yen actually was very strong this week and indeed it instead went down let's analyze it for this week sorry for the coming week Yeah, our market is pushing down and these are the levels I'm going to be looking at our previous support that's our previous support which was broken and check out this one also it also did break this one also did break this one 
Here the sentiment is now bearish because it broke broke this level and also it failed to make another higher high but instead continuing breaking the bullish levels and this is what I'm expecting it to do next week if it, if at all the market opens either continue pushing down or come for it test continue pushing down it will depend on the strength of the yen but as you see then also the dollar is not that weak but let's wait how it will be playing out with those levels and we see who will win the battle that's for the case of our UJ for edge let's go to our GJ this is our yen pair and this was our previous analysis we made I said we either anticipate market to come back retest this level push down or come back seek this level our resistance to continue push down and it did exactly as I anticipated on this on this resistance it didn't go back seeking these higher highs instead on went on this level and it pushed down so let's analyze it uh, these are the levels I'm going to be looking at one is here and the bias of this market is bearish yeah still bearish yeah the two levels this is the only level i'm looking at currently it has already broken this one and the the pound is proving something here it's stronger than the yen at the moment i'm expecting market to continue pushing higher seeking these highs to reverse of that level let me let me extend this yeah as you see here yeah, it's back in the range trying to push back in this range and anything is possible in the range let's see how it will play out it may end up consolidating again in this range playing here until it finds its way out of it it's either goes higher or down so that one is open though it's still in a bearish sentiment let's look to our next pair yeah this is our euro versus our japanese yen this was our previous forecast i either sorry i anticipated this move either to continue pushing higher seeking retesting this level continue high or come retest this level break out and then and then a small pullback or retest this level then continue and look at how it played up to our levels it pushed down come back for it as though it didn't come back majorly to this level as i told you in, in my previous videos a pull back or it is cannot cannot be only limited to this level it can pull back anywhere 
on the chart not mainly on this level and this is going to be our analysis for the coming week our sentiment is bearish so I'm going to be looking at this level I'm looking at this level I will be expecting market or anticipating market to come here retest then the drop continues that's for the case of our EJ 4H remember we are using our 4H for our weekly forex outlook I'll be using only 4H now this is our GU and it also reacted very well on our level though it tried to break out and then break back in then it continued to drop down check what happened I said either come back to this level seeking for more orders collecting more orders then dropping down and check this price action it broke through some people say it a fake out whatever but broke broke through broke back in and it dropped and this was a nice sell let's see let's analyze this pair now for this case we are seeing a bearish sentiment because check out here the market failed to break this lower low and what do we expect market to do right now and it's also breaking this level I'm expecting market to let me look for my levels here let me use this one I'm um, expecting market to come back to this level, reach out the most recent lower highs, and then drop down. I'm taking this year as my lower high because a big drop started off with this with this lower high and then drop down so i'm taking this level not this one this one is not now invalid this one is still valid because this one pushed down made some pull back and continued down but as you know the market is very unpredictable and also put it in consideration but me i'm looking on this level that's for the case of our geo let's look to our next pair this is our New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar wow what's this check what happened anticipated market Market to come back here up. Sorry about this mess. Anticipated market to come back on this level, then continue to push down and check at the reaction here. It came back here up and look at this price action shooting star, spin bars, hammers, whatever you call it, a shooting star and look at this massive drop it was some nice money and let's look at our 
next week analysis. Now some people may say this is a range. Sorry. This is a range, yeah. But this range is in a bearish market. I'll be expecting market to I'm looking at this level. I'm looking at at these two levels. Either either expect some reaction here and it drops down or continue breaking through this level, come for it test on this level, then push down. And remember, as I told you, we are in a range, so I won't be surprised if it continues to break this level, seeking back this upper boundary here up or resistance to further drop down. So you should be keen when you're trading this pair. It's in a range for each range, but I'm looking at these two levels. This is our AUD, Austrian dollar versus US dollar. And check this. I said it either reacts with this level and continue drop or come back to this level, retest and drops. And it reacted very well with this level. It came back here, retested and dropped. This was also a nice nice cow the dollar was very strong though we ended the friday when it's losing some strength but let me see how we are going to analyze this pair this one is also a downtrend and i'm looking at these levels I'm looking at this level. Sorry. Okay. It's dropping down. So I'm expecting it to come back, seek these levels. Then continue pushing down. Remember here it broke our our recent lower low. And it's going back here for a test. That's for the case of our AUD. So I'll be waiting for some nice price action or formations on this level. Wait for momentum in line with the trend and then looking for shots. Our last pair. Is the AJ Austrian dollar versus the Japanese yen? Wow, most of our analysis is we are good and they made some good movements. I did the same, anticipated this, this level either come back for just drop or come back to this structure highs recent structure highs to for it is then drop and look what happened it was a massive drop let's analyze same we are in a bearish market and i'm be i'm going to be looking at these levels 
one is here and the other will be here so I'm expecting market to either come back here drop continue drop or continue to push higher here on this resistance then further drop so traders that has been our weekly forex outlook for our pairs i will be analyzing these pairs one two three four five six seven eight there are eight pairs take your time and go through them and see how they react with our levels it's upon you whatever trading style you use your entries I can't guarantee you that they will always be respecting our levels but at least when you're following the trend the odds are stacked more on your side than when you're against the trend so take care and have a good day nice weekend may God bless you and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please share comment make reviews about the videos for more improvements thank you